C.S. Lewis wrote, Homemaking is surely in reality the most important work in the world. What do ships, railways, mines, cars, government, etc. exist for except that people may be fed, warmed, and safe in their own homes? The homemaker's job is one for which all others exist. For today, I want to do something a little different and just show you what a day of homemaking looks like for me. I had some berries I wanted to use, a mulberry and raspberry mixture to make a crisp. And so that's kind of how my mid-morning started. And I love crisp. They're so easy. And it's a recipe my mom taught me. And that's the thing with homemaking. A lot of our skills are handed down to us by our mothers, grandmothers, by older friends. They're learned traits that we have to hone in and work on to master because homemaking is not an easy task. It is not just staying at home and sitting on the couch. It requires work and effort. And often homemaking looks different every single day and for every single person. Um, I had to fold some laundry from covering our plants outside. I had frost on some plants or we had some frost so I just used some old towels and old sheets and had to do a load of laundry and that's the thing with homemaking laundry is a never-ending task but I honestly don't mind it I just use my bed to fold my laundry sometimes it's on the couch it really depends right now my daughter was napping so I just was in her bedroom but like I said, every day is so different. Some days I have lots of laundry, some days I have one load of laundry. So it's just, homemaking can actually be enjoyable because it's not monotonous. A lot of people think it would be, but I love the variety that homemaking offers. Different meals, different things that your kids do, different laundry, um, different gardening tests. It's just all... It all is so different and so wonderful and something that God wants us to do as um, women or if you're a man and you want to do this too, just to make your homes wonderful and beautiful and put love into them to care for everything we were given. this particular day I decided to wipe down my cupboards and I don't do this too often um, but they need it when they're white they definitely do I'm just using a Norwex cloth like I typically do in all my cleaning and homemaking videos but I just like to wipe the surfaces down around the handles and again like I said every day of homemaking is so different I do not do this every day but I needed to get some spots off and just some grime. And definitely during this time, I like to keep things a little bit cleaner, even if it's just us in our house. But yeah, this Norwex cloth is amazing. So it works wonders. I use it on my stainless steel as well. But it's just, it's just sometimes so gross how things get and we forget. And taking, oh, probably five minutes just to do this is really not that much work and it makes me feel so good to see the white of the cupboard shine again okay now this is definitely a tedious job and that's the thing with homemaking some things can be more tedious with our handles being horizontal we do get gunk food scraps grossness stuck in there so I am taking a toothpick and a paper towel and getting under that little groove that we've got to get all that gunk out I have never done this in the two years since we've had those handles on there it is time consuming. Um, it probably only took me 20 minutes though for every handle. But again, homemaking, you want to make your house feel clean and tidy and just wonderful. And knowing even though it's nitty gritty little area that not everybody's gonna notice, it makes you feel good. It made me feel so good to accomplish that task.
Some days I have one pot of French roast pof- coffee for my husband and I. Other days I have two. Today was a two pot day. So I'm just getting my water in my copper tea kettle and then doing a little bit more tidying while I wait for my water to get hot enough. I love a French press as those of you who followed me for a while know it is amazing coffee. Anyways, um, my daughter had eaten breakfast and I didn't clean up her spot yet. I always Swiffer. I have a little Swiffer in my corner. Thank goodness our daughter doesn't touch it, but I like to just leave it there and then I'll vacuum up the gunk at the end of the day and just do a little spot cleaning under her chair and depending on what food she has. Some days is way worse than others. As those of you who have children know, the floors get rather disgusting. So I just did a little little, little spot cleaning and you're not a homemaker unless you are on your hands and knees scrubbing. <laughs> That's what I heard on the Homesteader Chic podcast. Anyways, My crisp is finally done, and it looks gorgeous, beautiful. We had it that evening for dessert, and I just love having fresh desserts on hand. I know, I know, not always healthy, but they are a joy for me to make. All right, coffee time, and I didn't make a full pot, obviously, as you can see. And then I do share some with my husband. It's not me drinking all this coffee, but again, I just love warm coffee especially on a day like it was today a little cooler a little rain yeah it's just it's just so wonderful i think i thrive in the morning for coffee i honestly just love coffee for the taste and not even just the caffeine but i love the taste of coffee (laughs) there's also some beauty in homemaking that you can add with fresh cut flowers Uh, we were on a walk earlier and I just wanted to get some lilacs and I took a few from some neighbor's bushes and I just think color and living plants add so much to a home and that can make your home so inviting and beautiful. That's part of homemaking is making it inviting and beautiful. I had to get rid of some of the other ones I had cut a couple days ago. That's the sad thing with lilacs, they really don't last very long but their fragrance is amazing. But yes, fresh cut flowers are just something that makes a home so welcoming and inviting. So that's something you can always have in your house. All right, like I said, each day is different and laundry now has to be in the living room because my daughter is awake and I just want to spend a little time with her, even if that means I'm doing a task and she's playing on the floor. But yep, some days I fold it on the couch, like I said, some days in my bedroom and some days she helps by tipping the basket over (laughs) but um when she gets older i'll train her how to fold laundry i love homemaking too that we can train our own children to do things um and i think it's good for kids to know how to do skills all right so here she comes i remembered this from (laughs) as i'm recording this down she was a little bit needy she needed her snack again it's already afternoon time guys it goes so fast but you know snack time is very important for my little one and when snack time happens sometimes i need to multitask which means working on supper which is going to be taco salads so i just had some ground beef from a quarter cow we had and chopping an onion while little one is eating her snack in the background And then I just love it. My husband comes up from the basement to give our little girl some love. He works from home and it's so wonderful to have him around and my little girl and myself just love having him home. I am an avid fan of gardening. I raise my own vegetables and produce and have flowers and this is the front of our house and the rocks were overgrown with weeds. So why not just take your little ones outside, get a little done. Let them get all dirty and play with rocks and weeds. I just think it's so good for them to be in the outdoors. And she doesn't mind the grass, but it was a little wet, so I brought the blanket out. But yeah, this this task is another tedious one. Pulling grass from the weeds, that can be, or pulling grass from rocks, that can be very time consuming. And this is just a little back flower garden I have that I needed to weed again and let my little one crawl around and get all dirty. That's just how homemaking goes. Children do get dirty and so do we and the day just keeps going. Something 
something else I've found while being a homemaker is that it is trial and error. I am trying a sourdough cracker recipe that I found on Farmhouse Home Boone, and it honestly did not turn out well for me. I was going to make tortillas out of sourdough, but I didn't read the directions right and missed that it needed to sit overnight, so I thought, okay, we'll try the crackers. Fail, fail, fail. They taste great, texture not right. But that's the thing with homemaking, it really is trial and error. And I think that's how we learn and how we grow. Honestly, with anything in life, it can be trial and error. And it's so important for our kids to see us mess up and how we respond and um, how we react to failures is really important. So yeah, I was supposed to use another piece of parchment pa paper to get it really thin and I didn't. So that was a mistake, but yeah, they taste great. Like I said, it just didn't work out so well with what I wanted them for. So failure is something that I think is okay and that we really need to grow from as mothers, wives, and homemakers and to hone in again on those skills that we want to perfect. And something that is important that I've heard said is what areas of home do you want to really work on? And mine is definitely um, cooking and baking. I always have just some go-to recipes, but I love cooking and baking because my husband is such a gracious man and loves anything I make. He's just so thoughtful, but I want to get better at it and um, just be okay with making mistakes while I learn these skills. The end of the day I like to get out fresh towels reset my kitchen and home for the next morning because again the day is gonna start all over again and we're gonna do this homemaking deal this homemaking gig all over again but how we respond to our home with love and care is what really makes or breaks our homemaking mm -hmm.